Hello families and welcome back to a new video. So today we're going to be looking at lesson 5-3, which is adding up to subtract using an open number line. So in this lesson, as I stated, students are going to apply the strategy of adding tens and ones to subtract using an open number line. An open number line can help students keep track of their thinking and it also helps students develop number sense. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in. In lesson 5-2, our last video, um, we were working on subtraction, but remember we were starting here, writing our first uh, number here and then going backwards by tens and ones. However, in this lesson we are adding up to subtract. So what that means is instead of going ahead and taking 57 and putting it here, we're going to put 28 here because we are going to add up. Remember what I also said in Lesson 5-2 is when we are subtracting, we know we want to start here and work backwards towards the left. When we are adding, we're going to start uh, put our number here at the very front and then we're going to work towards the right. So again, we are adding up to subtract, so we're going to put our number here to start. So we know that we need to get to 57. Our target number is 57, okay? We have our 28 here, we need to get to 57. The easiest way they want us to do this is, again, we're using that place value and we're using tens and ones to help us. So instead of counting up by ones or to skip counting by tens, we wanna to try to make a 10. What that means to make a 10 is any number that ends in a zero. So we're trying to make a 10. So the next closest 10 we can make to this number is 30. So we are going to put a dot here and we know that we want to get to 30. 28 plus what is going to give us 30? 28 plus 2 is going to give us 30. Now this is different because when we were going this way, we were writing minus 1. But we are working towards the right. We are adding, so we're going to write plus 2. Now again, we want to keep getting to 10s. So I want to get to the next 10. So my next 10 is going to be 40. And as I said, it's a 10, so we know 30 plus 10 is going to give us 40. So I'm going to write plus 10. Next, I'm still not there. I need to get to this 57 here. I'm still not quite there yet. I'm at 40. So I think I can add another 10. 40 plus um, 10 is going to give us 50. So here's our other 10. Now, if I added another 10, that would put me at 60. We know that's too much because our number is 57. So we know that we do not need to add any more tens because that will put us over the number we're actually trying to get to. So instead, we can start looking at our ones. I'm going to go up 1, 1 plus 1 is 51, plus another 1 is 52, plus another 1, 53, plus another 1. 54 plus another one. Oops. Sorry about that. Plus another one is 55. Ah, I don't know if I'm going to get it in here. Plus another one is 56. And I'm just going to draw another one over here just to make sure I get to that 57 and plus another one. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to add all of these numbers to get to uh, to see what our answer is. Adding these together will tell us what our, our answer is. So I'm going to go ahead and add my tens first, and then I'm going to go back and add my ones. So I have 10, 20. Then we're going to start counting by our ones. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. So let's go ahead and write 29. Our final answer is 29. Now another big thing in second grade that we have students do is we want them to always go back and check their work because let's face it, it's easy to make a simple mistake. So if students are wondering if their answer is correct, all they have to do, let me erase this here, the circle from around here. All they have to do is add the sum and the last number together so they would add 29 plus 28. And if when you added 29 and 28 together, your answer is 57, then you know that you are correct. Okay, that is how you check your work. All righty, I want to show you another way here. I'm going to erase some of the answer or some of our work up here. 57 minus 28. Ooh, that's a weird looking thing. Sorry. 
67 minus 28. Okay, so what I did here is you see that I went back seven or I added seven once. Instead of going one digit at a time, that makes a lot more work. We could simply, if we see we're at 50 and we need to get to 57, we know that we need to add seven. So we could have just gone 10, 20, 27, 28, 29, and still gotten our, gotten our same answer as 29, okay? Again, this is whatever is simplest, whatever is easiest for your child. If we need to go one by one, that is absolutely fine. Again, we're, we're adding or we're learning those foundational skills first so that we can eventually get to doing the mental math. Alrighty, let's go ahead to our next one. Our next one is 45 minus 27. So again, we aren't doing like we did in 5-2. We are not going to write our 48 here, or 45, I'm sorry, here. We're going to start with our 27. Remember, we're always working with that, that last number. We're going to write 27 here. And we know our goal, the number we're trying to get to, is 45, okay? So again, we're working with 10s and 1s. So we want to see how we can get this number to the next closest 10. The next closest 10 to 27 is going to be 30. So we know we need to get to 30. And we need to see what we did to get from 27 to 30. We added 3. So to get from 27 to 30, we added 3. Okay? Now again, we know we need to get to 45. We're at 30 right now we can tell that we have enough to go ahead and make another jump of 10 and get us to 40. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I wrote the zero, but not the one. We're at 40, at 40 now. If we added another 10, we would go past 45 and we will be in the 50s. We want to try to make sure our target is 45. So we can tell that we cannot add any more 10s or that will put us over. What we can do now is add our five ones. Again, this is where we can do the one, two, three, four, five ones and add it that way. Or you can just do one jump of five. And we know 40 plus five is going to give us 45. OK, now we are not finished because now we need to take all of these numbers at the top and add them together. And that is going to give us our sum. So if we start with our 10 first, then we'll go to five. So 10 plus five is going to be 15. 15 plus three is going to give us 18. So our final answer is 18. 45 minus 27 is going to give us 18. Okay, that is going to wrap this video up. Hopefully this wasn't too hard. Um, again, if you have any more questions about what I did here, make sure you send me a dojo message. I'm going to see what I can do to try to get um, the comment section opened up because I know that would be a lot easier. Um, but since the videos are for kids, it, it automatically has the setting where it turns off the comments. Um, but I'm going to see if there's something I can do about it. But in the meantime, just feel free to message me in dojo. Make sure you are checking that description box for any important information that I may have left out. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe so you never miss a video. Have a great day or night and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.